Who invited the princess of Olokolo to live? My brother. This is not the princess of Olokolo to live. This is the god. Or more. What is the meaning of that? About your prayer, sir. May your greatness be more. I am only sir, the one you have heard of. I am the new Obi of Ubuluku. As custom demands, and on behalf of my people, I bring you good tidings. The people of Ubuluku are here to express their unalloyed support and loyalty to your majesty. We are here to demonstrate in practical terms our total allegiance to the King of Benin. Obatokbe! Listen. <laughs> <laughs> the one who comes fast with the wind oh, yes. and then orders it to do his bidding. I grip to you, <laughs> For the child of the herbalist to die, all herbs would have gone into extinction. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, our queen, we welcome you. The honor is as your highness. Ah. Ezomo, <laughs> I greet you again, Ezomo. Oh, I greet you too. The warlord of Benin Empire. The one who <laughs> knows the secrets of the spirits. <laughs> ah, Ezomo, my friend. One doesn't even need to look far to see the manifestation of your lucrative business with the white man uh, your wife and uh, uh, my daughter 
Princess Adesua. Oh. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> they are skins. They glow. Says it all. Come, my friend. Let us establish our union and friendship on these tools of our ancestors. Indeed. Come. <laughs> Come, my sister. I know you must be tired from the long exhausting journey. What goes on in the mind of an ostrich when it buries his head in the sand? Lord of the West Wind. Mm. Uh, a tree mounted by the leopard is not available to any other animal. I see you have taken a particular interest in my daughter. My good friend, Ezomo. I am sure even the heavens envy your good fortune. Pardon me if I'm a little bit ungracely. I want to see those knees that will not buckle at the sight of your beautiful princess. <laughs> Unfortunately, such knees suffer a wasted lust. Wait! Odogu? Yes, my lord. You will come with me. The rest of you proceed to Buluku. He told me where to find you, and behold, he's right. You are welcome, Your Highness. Thank you. What will His Highness be doing in the marketplace all by himself? Your pubic hair. Sorry, uh, I mean, the pubic hair is no stranger to adventurous penis. What am I to do now, Your Highness? As you can see, I am busy. I came to pay the traditional homage in Benin. I was ignorant of all the requirements. Having been briefed, I consulted your father who told me where to find you. That's why I'm here. I am listening, Your Highness. I need more goods to complete the ritual. Is that all? You needn't have come yourself. My father would have sent my younger brothers to pick them up. Anyhow, how many are we looking at? Oh, uh, three? Three goods. Three goods, yes. Okay. You may want to pick them yourself. Certainly. Uh, Odogu. But this one. This one. Yes. Uh, this black and white one. This one. And the other brown one. Good. That will do. Yes. Thank you so much, my princess. You're so kind. Your father didn't tell me it's going to be this easy. One more thing, though, that I told your father. I have run out of money to pay for these goods, but by the gods, I promise you, in the next market week, I will pay you in full. That is why I am here in person. Next market week? Yes. So be it then. Oh, you are so kind. Your fruitfulness is as good as your good looks. My father deserves the honor I serve you today. Mm. Mm, perhaps one day you will visit my people and trade with us. Because I look forward to the day I will honor you for this, this honor you've done me today. It is enough, Your Highness. The days that are yet to come are more than the ones we've seen. Oh, yes. Certainly we shall see you. Oh yes, we shall see, my princess. We shall see. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next market week then. Next market week. <laughs> Your Highness! It is the wayward pubic hair that remains friends with an adventurous penis.
cutting trouble, violence, deception. These are no pathways to greatness, my cousin. It is self-destruct. It is no longer news that uh, this, this young lady is betrothed to the king of a two land. So why? Why, my brother, do you insist on climbing trees that are reserved only for the gods? A cowardice is not... But it is not bravery to... to, to I am still spitting! We are no corpses. We will let no vultures pet on our bodies. We have a right to expand. Freedom to trade. The power to be great, the leave to go wherever we please. Oh, when I set my eyes on her, when I set my eyes on her, I knew she is what I want. The key to a profitable foreign relation. Your Highness, did you find out how she feels about what you feel? I am SMO! SMO! Broly, sir! I've got to see it, babe. The one who understands the secrets of the element! Come on! Oh, yes. The one who really understands the element, the earth! Wind and fire are my accomplices in the world beyond human understanding and eyes. If I have her, when I have her, oh, this will be the greatest feat of diplomacy ever witnessed, ever achieved by mankind. He has no message for me. Yes, my lord. Hmm. What is this? A challenge? Why? Whatever this is, my father, I must collect my money from him. He cannot call me out of my heart and money. I sheltered a man, and he turns round and... flicks feces in my face! Me! Ezama! Utigani! Oh, yeah! I live in a daughter face. No, my daughter! The challenge is thrown at me, not you. It is my money that's at stake for And my honor! No. No, he shall not scale this mountain that he has placed before himself. I swear by my ancestors that if he escapes this, if he survives it, then he shall blame the gods for sparing his life. The crocodile says the reason why he's reluctant to bite is because he loses all the decorum while joining. <laughs> Is it? Did you see the princess by the water side? No. She's in her room. She's not in her room. I'm just coming from there. Are you sure? Yes. 
In that case, you allow the chiefs. Let me run down to the stream. Okay. What is, what is happening? The princess is not in her room. Why? Where, where will she go this early? We, we don't know. Your sister says she will be going this early. No way, mother. We didn't discuss anything like traveling. Is she not in her room? No. He said no. <sighs> Imaria will know, mother. Imaria too is not even in her room. Is that the reason why the whole house is on fire? This is not the first time she's rising up early to go for her trading. I, I will still, still like to see, see that house and give me a piece of my mind. mind. Ezama! 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 This is it. Oh, look at my kitty red. My princess, we made it. This is the time we've been on track for the past nine days. Oh, Salabwa, we're safe. Ah. In Maria, the journey has just begun. Now. This is the road. Well, even if you don't want to buy anything from the market, I have beautiful things here that I want you to check. Please, check them. Thank you. I am not interested in any of your wares. Okay, check out. I have fine price. Stand back! Are you deaf? She says we are not buying anything. Or is this your first time of seeing a real princess? It is all right, Imaria. Woman. Truly, I have come to trade, but certainly not with your likes. But would you still be kind enough to show me the way to Obiolis's house? I have unfinished business with him. He owes me. You mean Obiolis owes you? Where is his house? I don't know about his house. I only know about his palace. It's further down the road. You can't miss it. There are lots of guards outside. A royal princess and follow you to be. May I know your mission here? I need to see your trickster king and I need to see him now. Ab abomination! You will mind your language. Shut your filthy papa's mouth. Do you understand who is standing before you? You'd had no access until I know your mission here. You really want to know my mission here? Do you really want to know my mission here? Your filthy man and king stole my guts, and that is why I'm here. Liar! Shut up! You will not talk back at my princess. I said, let me in, Never. you filthy pig! N let us in! Never! I said, let me in, you filthy Never. pig! Let us in! Never! Let me in now! Never! Oh, put me oh. out! Hey! <laughs> let my princess come in. <laughs> Welcome, my princess. Welcome. Roll out the drums! 
Where are the masquerades? My people, come, let us celebrate! My queen from Idu land is here! At last. I see my princess has enjoyed Obuluku hospitality. Well, it is really not surprising because I know what we have as part of our cultural heritage. <laughs> well, my princess will pardon my indiscretion. I have truly wronged you, I know. It pains my heart to know that you have to go through all sorts of horrors before you reached me for the debt I owe you. I am truly sorry. Thank you for the reception. But the only way to prove your regrets is to hand me my money and let me set back on my journey home. Oh no, that is without question. I will pay you instantly. Uh, as for returning home immediately, well, uh, this is also your home. Princess. Meaning? You don't have to be in a hurry to return to Benin. You don't have to. You just arrived. Tired. Worn out. Give yourself a little time, princess. Refresh before you think about going back home now. My money is... The guards will show you to your room, princess. I have to retire. First thing in the morning, I will make your money available to you. I don't want anything from you. I want you. How? You don't have to return to Benin anymore. You should be my wife. Do you know I am betrothed to the home leopard? The Obal Mini. You are in my domain now. My kingdom. Not Benin. I am sorry I'm going to disappoint you. It cannot happen. No. Did you call me my mom? I can't start in the world. Adesua. Adesua, I love you. I loved you right from the very first time I set my eyes on you. You don't have a choice anymore because I love you. You will be my wife. <laughs> I, daughter of Isom, Iharanoku Sebo, warlord of Bini, Uti Bini, Princess Adesua, to leave her royalty and bring herself down to your uncircumcised self as what? Wife or concubine? I forbid you from insulting me or my kingdom. Where's my princess? I need to be with her now. Where did you take her to? I am sorry you'll be reset. But you're putting me in my element the more you delay paying me my money. You slapped me. I will do it again if you do not keep your filthy and uncircumcised man with your chest. Just lay your knavish hands on me again. How dare you? How? How? Sister! My sister! My sister! Ah! <laughs> 
fast to avoid bloodshed on this issue. This is exuberance cash in royalty. Let us not dwell on how to mitigate, if not avoid what is to happen to us. We will do no such thing. You will not instigate panic. Panic? Look, before I woke up this morning, the entire Buluku had been deserted. And you say, panic. Brothers, are we going soft? There is no question of being soft on this matter, your highness. This is simply a bad case, militarily. The frog that sings knows fully well that his voice is not particularly melodious, but does that stop it from rejoicing with his neighbor? Huh? No, your highness, there is nothing as bad and deadly as fighting a war with a bad conscience. What's wrong did this woman do to us? Tell me! Tell us! If you tell us, then I will join you sing your chorus. And if there is no explanation? Your Highness, I suggest we post her miseries to the King of Uduland. Explaining the cause of the tragic accident. Yes, that's the diplomacy that I have known you for. Never! I will not sacrifice the pride of my people on the altar of diplomacy. Neither will I allow anybody to spit on me or on my kingdom. My lord, this is bad judgment, period. Think about this. Here lies before us what could either make us or break us, in fact, decimate us. I'm leaving. You will not walk out on me, Nemesis. Maybe you should try and stop me. Obey only, sir. Try and stop me. We all understand ourselves. We will do whatever it takes to defend the integrity of our fatherland. No matter what it takes. Odogu, your highness. It is your responsibility to mobilize our youth for war. Therefore, summon the council for war. Get a message from the wind. What is wrong? There is a spirit entity about, but it is not quite clear. Something is about to happen. Mm. What is it? It is happening right now. Listen to the wind.
Eqwenem. Eqwenem. Isomo. What is it? No. Get the soldiers ready. Ready? Yes, yes, my lord. Tell Arazon to get the soldiers ready. Yes, yes my lord. lord. Go. Oh. Who did this? Who did this? Reveal yourself. Reveal yourself now, I command you. Reveal yourself. Reveal yourself now, I command you. If you're not a coward, then reveal yourself. Whoever you are, I command you to reveal yourself right now! What is it? Come out. Because the palm tree cannot afford the to stand still when the wind graces the atmosphere. Come out now. I say come out. Because the palm tree cannot afford to stand still when the wind graces the atmosphere. Whoever you are, I command you to reveal yourself right now! Come with me. I say come out. Because the palm tree cannot afford to stand still when the wind graces the atmosphere. Come out now. Oh. There you are, you foul agent of the earth. No one that beats the drums of the gods will remain the same. The hand that strikes a stone will rest upon the head. You are right, That's what he said. You are right. Your evil hands shall now rest on your head in pain. Shouldn't I have known? <laughs> it was you, I forget you. Shouldn't I? <laughs> so, this is how we finally pay tribute to our mutual subterfuge. <laughs> you forget. You forget, Ulisse. You forget. No one knows it all. I have always known that betrayal is the name of the game. Our magic and sorcery have rules, and you know it. <laughs> like the overfed boar, you can run no more. Finished. Then take me if you can. <laughs>
Oh, Ha 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 ha!